um welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing today in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to blend markers with paper like blend markers um professional markers you can do this with any markers you have at home so please you will need a marker any type of marker i have professional markers you don't need professional but if you do, that's great. You aren't, and then you need sketchbooks, nothing else. So that's only the supplies you would need for this video. And I'm so excited to announce that this is my very first tutorial of actually art, an actual art video, and I'm really excited to do this. Um, so I'm really excited to do this art tutorial, and I'm going to show you what markers I have. So as you can see, this is where I do my markers, and these are the got the brand new that I will show you in a minute. And this is what I have. These are the markers I'm using in this art tutorial, and I really like them. This is my uncle who bought them for me. These are the brush can, the chisel nail. So this is how we do it, and um, I really like how these are. So as you can see, this is the little nib, then that's the big nib, and I really like them. Um, there's a brand that I'll show you. Pause the video to see it. And now and I'm going to teach you how to blend with those markers that I just showed you, and so I'm excited to show you how to blend with your markers. All the supplies you need is, like I said, all you need is your sketchbook and some markers, and you don't need professional ones. I just get them from Walmart because they, Walmart has professional markers now that I'm so excited to announce they do it and they have it and I'm really excited to use them. So thank you to my uncle for thank you to my uncle Quentin for giving it to me. I'm really happy that he did. So I'm really excited. Um, let's get started with this video. So I just have a sketchbook i will show you what sketchbook i am using i have a bunch of them and i'll do a sketchbook tour so this is the sketchbook i'm using it is Shockmore sketch and um i'm using that for the tutorial and let me let um i'm getting a marker right quick so you probably see me awkwardly but i am choosing the markers to used for today so we are using pink markers so let's get started well since we got that circle colored in let's move to the medium side and we are going to color this in to make it to a shadow but also this is how like some artists do it but this is my first time using this mark these markers and let's make a shadow because right here if we were using a really dark um pink this is where the light will be reflected, and this side is where the, um, I'll show you with the dark color in a second. Still go ahead and color. But to make it look more dimensional and stuff like that, I'll be right back with a new color. So I'm back, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is a better color for the shadows and so i am using this color i don't there's no colors on here well there is on the packaging but i don't feel like going to get it so and you can color it on this side And make sure you write your name. Now 
that's my first attempt on um drawing with these markers. Well, not my first, well, yeah, it's my first time by actually trying to draw a three dimensional shape, but I think it turned out pretty good. And I hope this helped you guys. So I hope this helped you, and I hope this worked and helped you out for beginner artists or any kind of artist out there. So I hope that helped you, and thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, <laughs> not that word. Watching, and um, please give this video a big thumbs up and start my YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you so very much and bye art friends. Don't forget to subscribe.